Cougar sightings on Vancouver Island have become almost commonplace over the past few months, and although attacks are quite rare, when they do happen, they have a lasting effect. An attack on the North Island in 2009 is still being felt by the victim, a small dog and its family. The pup barely escaped with its life, but lost its eyesight in the struggle. As CTV's Gord Kerbis reports tonight, the owner's dedication to helping the pet is getting international attention. His hearing is now impeccable, but sadly his eyesight is gone. Changes experienced by Buddy following his run-in with wildlife back in 2009. If we go for a walk and he gets excited, and he can still get excited, I, I look out really quickly for bear, and it's usually a bear. The Shih Tzu was quietly sleeping on the boardwalk in Telegraph Cove when a cougar came out of the bushes and pounced on it. The cougar had Buddy in its mouth and then dropped him down a seven-meter embankment while trying to escape. The encounter turned Buddy into a bit of a celebrity. We had a lady come up not that long ago specifically asking if she could have a visit with him, which was really nice. And everybody knows him when you walk down the boardwalk. Although Buddy recovered from most of his physical injuries, he wasn't quite the same after the attack. He was definitely not doing well. You couldn't get him motivated to do anything. He couldn't get him to walk, nothing. Two different vets suggested Buddy would perk up with a companion. And that's when Buddy's owners picked up Joey. He's a Shih Tzu Lhasa Apsal Cross and definitely a, a different temperament, temperament than Buddy, but he's, he keeps Buddy on his toes. The solution worked, and then an article about the dog's friendship appeared in the North Island Gazette. After that, it was picked up by McLean's Magazine. So they were on the same page as Margaret Thatcher, Ozzy Osbourne, and um, Madonna. And here's a picture of Buddy and Joey in the center of McLean's magazines. And from there, a taping for an upcoming appearance on a TV show called Pet Heroes. Pet Heroes doesn't usually do a dog, dog story. It's usually a dog human story. And they liked Buddy's story so much that they thought they'd like to give it a chance. The taping took place several weeks ago, and the segment will air on country music television likely sometime in January. So how does Buddy deal with all this attention? Oh, well, his... His head's getting a little bigger. <laughs> it's it's kind of heartwarming that everybody likes his story, and it's, it's been a lot of fun, and it's, it is a nice story, and it's um, a story of survival. A story of survival that keeps on going. Gord Curvis, CTV News, Telegraph Cove. Sit.